Well, next tonight, one in nine Americans over the age of 65 are currently living with Alzheimer's. But the brain disease is actually thought to begin 20 years earlier before many people notice any symptoms. Christina Loring learned more about the latest research being done right here in Madison. I think there are a few key misconceptions. One is that people think Alzheimer's disease just means you have a memory problem. UW Health Dr. Nate Chen spends every day working with Alzheimer's patients here in Madison. So it's more than just memory symptoms. It can affect your attention, your language, your vision. He knows firsthand how difficult a diagnosis can be. So people can um, struggle with complicated tasks like driving or medications. As well as just how many people will find out they have the disease. Disease. In the next five years here in Wisconsin, 10,000 more people will receive an Alzheimer's diagnosis, bringing the statewide total to 130,000. More than 40% of those people will ultimately die from the disease. It affects your ability to sit up and walk, to, to go to the bathroom or, or not go to the bathroom. The good news, there is hope. Even though it took a long time to get where we are now, the rates at which we are learning more about Alzheimer's disease, as well as conducting intervention studies, it has accelerated exponentially. In just the last 10 years, researchers have been able to detect Alzheimer's earlier and earlier. Patients no longer need to die for doctors to use their brains for scans. And today, they're testing patients' spinal fluid, studying protons, and holding out hope. And, and I do think certainly during our lifetime, that's going to happen. That a cure could be right around the corner. Reporting in Madison, Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. You can help raise money for Alzheimer's research tomorrow by joining the virtual Walk to End Alzheimer's. You can find the link to register and donate on our website, channel3000.com.